Hi, my name is Serjan Bakovic. I'm an information management specialist from Infomentum and I'm here to talk to you about some of the challenges in the recruitment sector industry that we came across while implementing our enterprise tool solutions. In today's presentation, I'll go over some key business challenges in this sector and describe how we solve them by implementing our unique and innovative portal solution. I will walk you step by step through the solution and describe the features and components that enabled our global recruitment customer to reach their goals. Finally, I will look at some new ideas that we're looking to take to our recruitment industry customers to help them further improve their business. One of the first challenges of any business is a common one, how to increase revenue. In recruitment, the web channel is one of the most important revenue generators. So, to increase revenue, recruitment companies strive to convert more website visitors into more active job applications who will eventually turn into job placements. They want a website to be attractive and effective for its core purpose. Crucially, it needs to capture the interest of the job seeker as well as employer's audience to retain them as potential customers. We found that a common recruitment strategy is to increase the overall application volume through website channel. They wish to do that by suggesting to the other candidates, to the candidates the other relevant jobs and events. These could be the recruitment fairs or open days. Still focusing on the web channel, recruitment companies are continuously looking for the ways to improve return rates to their website. They are looking to do that by ensuring the visitors see fresh, new, and relevant information on each visit. They require tools and processes to do this as quickly as possible. Another business challenge here is to maintain and extend competitive advantage by providing a better, more useful web experience to job seekers than competing recruitment firms and job boards. Challenge number two. Recruitment consultants often post jobs not just to their portal website, but also externally on other job sites. This is difficult to track and therefore creates the revenue generation and operation, operational management headache where it's not clear where the jobs are posted and when they're not. It also makes it difficult to know where a particular job application comes from. Having a dedicated areas on the jobs portal for sponsored employers is a must on recruitment websites. Their client employer would have branded dedicated microsites where their own jobs are posted and managed. Ideally, these should be straightforward to build and maintain. Again, like in any enterprise, improving the core business processes is a challenge. One of the key processes we came across in the is the vacancy upload. Recruitment companies look for the way to upload new job vacancies details quickly, so temporary positions can be filled the same day. Time to market is quite important here. Finally, challenge number five is a classic business challenge. The IT is in control of uploading content on behalf of business users. This is slow, ineffective process that needs improving. Recruitment companies want the business users, the recruitment consultants, to be in control of the business and revenue generating channel, the website. They should be able to upload and manage the content without any help from IT. There were many other business challenges that we came across, but these are the main ones we wanted to focus in this webcast. I will now go into the solution that we delivered to address these issues. We're now moving into the demo part of this webcast. This case study is based on a global recruitment company and their new portal for the job seekers and employers alike. This portal has been rolled out to 27 different countries and in 23 different languages and is running on one common platform. This type of portal could be applied to different countries or different subsidiaries. For example, you might have a different dedicated nursing job portal or a teaching jobs portal. You could roll this portal out to your different companies that are serving different needs of your group, perhaps. What we see here is the home page view of this portal. It is very simple and clearly distinguishes between a job seeker and an employer. On the left-hand side, 
you have a job seeker's journey where you can either search for jobs or ask for an advice. On the right hand side, we have similar journey for the employers. The portal features the secure personalized area for job seekers and employers. We also see here dynamic reusable content blocks that can be placed on any other page on the portal. Content editors just need to create the block once and then it can be used elsewhere. The platform includes a fully featured digital asset management system for things like images, videos and other multimedia files. Homepage makes use of fast services that deliver a current real-time count of live open jobs that are available. This can be reused anywhere on the site as well. One important point to add here is that the same portal provides the ability to cross-site link to other sites on the platform, whether we are referring to the other language versions of the site or microsites that are perhaps prepared for a feature employer. Microsites creation is pretty easy now and can be done by a business user. So, the same platform for all sites concept goes towards solving a number of previously talked about business challenges. Here, we see two personalized user journeys for the two types of audience that are targeted from the homepage. It is possible to personalize the menu systems and navigation systems for the users in this solution. For example, this image shows job seeker and employer's navigation. These images here show the smart reusable widgets that can be placed on this, these portal pages. Content editors and portal administrators don't need to type the title or create these links for these blocks over and over again. They can simply be added to any page, whether that's a healthcare or finance sector area of the site. Here we see an example of the typical jobs page. It's a complex page with lots of dynamic elements on it. What is important to highlight here is that the content editors or consultants need to focus only on creation of the core content for this page. The contextual detail in dynamic building blocks around it's automatically generated. As you can see, this is a general accounting page. We have the content paragraphs to describe the page, but we also have latest jobs in accounting, upcoming events, featured employers in general accounting, and so on. These are all represented in reusable blocks like we saw on the home page. We also see the mini search form that if used, it will only show the general accounting jobs. Left-hand navigation is dynamically driven and below is a box with related areas of expertise, making it a complete context-driven area for general accounting jobs. As mentioned, content editors or marketing experts are left to deal with what they are good at, creating content. All the rest of it is generated automatically. The user is effectively guided through this experience and the pages are designed to be intuitive and persuasive so that he or she can find and apply for the job in simple three clicks. Now I'm going to take a short break from the demo to introduce a concept that is at the heart of our solution. It is called ontology. Ontology is a discipline that is described in both philosophy and computer science. In computer science, ontologies are generally described as structural frameworks for organizing information. They are used in artificial intelligence, the semantic web, systems engineering, software engineering, information architecture, enterprise architecture frameworks, and many other areas within IT domain. In the context which we are looking into today, ontology can be defined as a multidimensional taxonomy or classification of terms. It is a collective structure of terms, their properties, and the relationships between them. Let's take our recruitment study as an example. We're looking at the banking sector here. We see two branches of standard taxonomy tree structure, one for commercial banking and one for business banking. We 
can also see that customer advisor roles belong to both of these banking areas. Sales advisor is in there too. Even though these jobs are different, in ontology we say that they are related. Also, if someone is working as a customer advisor, they may be interested to work as sales advisor due to a number of reasons. Better salary, maybe better location, better career path or similar. Once we start introducing these relationships between the terms in our taxonomy, we are in fact building an ontology structure. This is an example bird's eye view of the ontology structure for finance sector jobs and roles. As you can see, a number of terms are connected and form relationships with each other. Since all of the terms and relationships are persisted, we can use them to build our smart applications. Obviously, this is stored and managed behind the scenes and business users don't need to interface with it. This is just a sample data snapshot for one industry. A whole number of these are created for other industry sectors. How does it work? The way this works is based on semantic or meaningful matching. That can be either based on matching on type of relationship, based on matching what user clicks, or matching on type of jobs it is. The weighting or the distance of the relationships can also be defined to further enhance the meaning of the matching data in question. If we strip out the main content area from a page, as seen on this image, we can see all the dynamic elements that appear on the page to create that contextual and meaningful experience. What drives this is the semantics technology that supports ontology structures we just talked about. We have applied the ontology structure as suitable and defined for this business and build the applications and components that are driven by that structure. Final result is smart ontology driven website navigation. To create this kind of complex page, business users are looking at, on average, 20 minutes. Publishing of these pages, once completed, is only three clicks away. By enabling the business user to quickly and without help from IT, assemble these pages, we're solving a challenge number five, as I described earlier. Here, we're seeing a search results page where we're clearly seeing the job details with title, location, salary, and description of the job in the main section. On the left-hand side, we have a faceted search filtering facility to drill down the search results more easily. One can filter down jobs by salary, location, type, or similar. These filters are assembled automatically from the tags that are applied to all these jobs based on search results. The same faceted search concept is used on Amazon or eBay and many other public sites so visitors are comfortable and at ease when looking for the information they need. On the right hand side, again, we see relevant content in form of similar jobs and you may be interested jobs. These are automatically generated based on matched search results and their ontological behavior. There is an element of search optimization done here where you may be interested in jobs in slightly different area with higher salary and closer to where you live are shown. This is an example of an industry sector business logic that is applied using this flexible solution. Of course, our solution responds to changes in business logic and can be easily adjusted accordingly. These are the similar jobs and you may be interested jobs blocks. They are driven by semantics technology and are based on ontology relationship and the weighting or distance of the terms. In this example, the job's details are the terms. If required, these dynamic elements can be presented all in one block with closer matches on the top. Here, we're looking at the search form. When the user starts to type, predictive and suggestive search is engaged. Again, driven by ontology terms. What is also available here behind the scenes is Thesaurus Synonyms Search Capability. So if you search for a project manager, for example, it will match P-Manager or PM 
or PRMNGR and any other various combination, providing a powerful tool for retrieving relevant search results. Same suggestive text concept is applied to locations. All 17.4 million UK locations, including postcodes, are added to the system once, and service was run to fetch their longitude and latitude from Google. With this information, we can smartly help the user to narrow their location search in this way. There are six levels of geocode tagging, going from country level down to the street level. To make the user experience seamless and comfortable, in case that the location data is not available in the system, the user is automatically presented in real time with options derived from Google or Yahoo or Bing Maps behind the scenes. Once they're satisfied with their choice and selected one of the offered nearest locations, that piece of location information will be persisted in the system and be available to the next user. This is an example how this smart system keeps enhancing itself over time. Obviously, the location results can be seen on the map. One thing that is interesting to highlight here is one of the recruitment industry business rules that we have applied in this area. Sometimes, when the jobs are available in smaller towns or less urban areas, it is not desirable to put a completely accurate geolocation on the map. Potential job seekers might be able to easily figure out which company in particular the job is for, and therefore the business might be lost. So, we have created triangular coordinates, in this case 1.5 miles in range, and show them on the map as such. As you can see on this example here, search results themselves can be saved and stored in secure, personalized areas of the site by a click of a button. You can save the searches as job alerts, as weekly or daily email alerts. Here we see a single sign-on login page into the secure, personal part of the portal. One thing to highlight here is that Portal provides a multi-site experience and allows for multiple personalized profiles for each country in this example. Job seekers can have active accounts in different countries with different address details if they wish. On this slide we see a view of the login state personalized part of the site. It is a consolidated view of user details, job application history driven by semantics and ontology, shortlists, saved searches, and alerts. One interesting thing here is that as a user, you can have multiple addresses in different countries, but you can also have multiple accounts within the same country. You can have a job seekers account and an employer's account. Typical relevant example in recruitment industry where this takes place is that as a recruitment company, you place a contractor to a job somewhere and that same contractor is asked to build a bigger team and needs to recruit more people. This way, they will have both accounts set up on the same portal and can interchange between them but maintain the same original profile and same security credentials. This profile area interfaces with the platform's document management system capability for storing all of the assets that are uploaded in this area. Things like CVs, non-disclosure agreements, images, passport copies, etc. It is also important to highlight that data presented in the user profile is deduplicated against the core back office system that holds candidates' details and is always accurate. We also understand that back office systems are not always available for real-time integrations. That is why we have designed the integration to be message-driven, based on service-oriented architecture principles. This means that there is no hindrance on the job applications on the website. Website transactions can continue 24 hours per day and appropriate data will be synchronized with the back office system when it becomes available. Finally, the saved data in your account directly contributes to the personalized content that is pushed to you when you come back to browse the site again. This is achieved by semantics technology matching 
based on ontology structure behind the scenes. The system and the solution we have built is smart. It provides the user with the meaningful guidance by use of semantics matching. In this example, it is possible to see what kind of roles other users with similar profile are applying for. The semantics technology uses analytics capability to compare profile and create structures for this kind of contextual and human persuasive experience. As mentioned earlier, it is possible to have two accounts that represent a job seeker's account and employer's account. Here is a screen that shows how users can easily switch between accounts and get on with their next tasks. This slide here illustrates the multilingual and global attributes of the site. With our portal solution, we have enabled our recruitment customer to launch new sites in new countries with different languages in a straightforward and rapid fashion. Search engine optimization has been considered on this site. One example is this. On here, we see footer site map that is driven by semantics technology automatically, so there is no need to manage links separately. This is always up to date. So, by creating a feature-rich portal like this, we have solved business challenge number one by creating a modern, intuitive experience for both job seekers and employers. We talked about some of, the, some of these features already, but here's the recap of them. Integration with back office using messaging. Approach one, very important integration is with other job boards. This means that the posting of the jobs alongside their unique tracking code is posted to other job boards like Monster, JobServe, using our integration services. If the business model allows for this, this is still achieved by one published action from a familiar interface. Integrating with external job boards was one of the pain points we were set out to achieve and succeeded. The customer can now track all job applications throughout their cycle no matter where they're posted at. Creation of this kind of portal can be a phased approach and it doesn't have to be a big burden on the business. Section by section of the existing sites can be migrated on this solution over time. Finally, I want to spend some time talking about some of the ideas that we have for the future improvements that we want to work with with our recruitment customers. As the social networking businesses like LinkedIn are becoming very popular and useful for job seekers and employers alike, integration with LinkedIn is an obvious next step. There are two levels of possible integration. First one is just a single sign-on whereby you only need to log in once onto the portal and you are automatically logged in to LinkedIn. Second option is LinkedIn services that can be used to match the LinkedIn candidates to the jobs posted on the portal. Once they are matched, LinkedIn emails can be sent to these candidates from within the portal itself. We have a prototype of these integrations and are looking to work with our customers on this idea. Integrations with CRM systems and timesheet systems make sense. Why not allow for the self-service client management area for contractors on your portal? People can People can file their timesheets online, manage their contract details, all from one portal interface. We're also looking into integrations with shopping cart solutions, which could be of interest to recruitment companies as well. That concludes this recruitment webcast today. I hope you found it interesting. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.